lighting, experimental, fantastic cutting, and colour and fabric choices brilliant. So I think it's it's relates very well. I think it's a great show, I'm very impressed and I think you should be very proud. Uh, I really love the use of colour. I think uh, a lot of collections stood out for that and even when they use black, it's not sad, it's not pathetic, it's just a beautiful way to use colour. And also I think the movement, is uh, the, the, the way the people move in the clothes is uh, very good. It's very inspiring for me. It's uh, always something I look when I take a picture, how the movement, how I will give it in the picture. And I think uh, the clothes really uh, inspired me for that. Uh, obviously, we've seen 40 completely different designers. Uh, nevertheless, would you say that there's certain silhouettes or looks or uh, trends that you, that you saw here that you could relate to uh, uh, what you see online, for example? Fashion education has, has developed, progressed, or declined uh, since the time that you uh, came from college. Well, to be honest, you know, I came here today um, and I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, but I must say, I'm quite surprised because I thought some of the collections looked really professional, uh, technically quite good, uh, the styling was quite good, and it was almost um, hard for me to relate to the time I graduated because this you know, it's 16 uh, years ago. But what's very important, I think, is uh, that even 60 years afterwards, I still think of that time, and it's still uh, like a basis to draw from. And it's, you know, even after 60 years, I still realize how important your education is. And uh, that's really something they should uh, cherish, I think. So, so you still actually, in your daily work as the top five designers in the menswear world, you still draw back on what you learned in Arnhem? Yeah, I think it's, it's very important, you know, to, to, to learn how to be creative and to always be open, to keep your mind open. Uh, you know, being a designer is not a 9-to-5 job, it's, it's 24 hours a day. You, you, you think fashion, you have to live fashion, you really have to, you have to be passionate about it, otherwise it doesn't work. Because it's a, it's a tough business, nothing is, uh, nothing is instant. Uh, and sometimes it takes a long, you know, it, it takes a long way to get there. And that's also what I would like to uh, say to them is that they have to be patient as well. Uh, and don't be afraid to work for different companies, don't be afraid to uh, get some experience uh, and see what it's like in the real world. And you know, I think for them, today is not you know, an end, but it's a new beginning. And I wish them luck. Okay, the winner of Lichting 2009 is Anne Bogaerts.